All right, guys, what's going on? So we've got another um, we got another cool find today. This is a uh, it's a 1982 240D, but it's got the four-speed manual. And uh, this car is absolutely beautiful. It's raining outside right now, and uh, this car has 95,000 miles on it. And uh, I picked it up from this gentleman, Matt. How's it going, Matt? Very nice. And uh, Matt, you've found a few of these Absolutely. cars in really good shape. Absolutely. Over the last month or two, you had a really nice wagon. Yes, sir. And now you found this 240D, and uh, you keep finding them. I'll keep buying them. Okay. Sounds All right. Good. Yeah, this is a beautiful one, man. And uh, so we're going to get this back to the shop, and you know the process. We'll go through it. And uh, Shannon is actually going to drive this back because we're in North Carolina. We picked up another car, and Shannon's out in the truck, and she's actually never driven a uh, a four-speed 240D. So let's go talk to Shannon and see what she thinks about it. Shannon, so Matt just sold us that car, and uh, I think you said you're going to drive it back. Yeah. Have you ever driven a Mercedes diesel 240D four-speed? No. But you you can drive a manual. Yeah, you like manuals better. I like them better than a camera. <laughs> so, you, so you're driving this all the way back to Atlanta? Yeah. How do you feel about that? I don't care. As long as I have Bluetooth, I'm gonna As long as you have Bluetooth. So I got a little adapter you can put in there. And uh, I'll just follow you. Okay. Instead of you following me. Okay. So we'll make sure. And uh, All right. Well, let's do this. Guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get on the road and uh, we'll post the uh, restoration process on this car. We'll uh, see you later. All right, guys, today we picked up a beautiful uh, 1982 uh, 240D manual. And I just got done uh, washing it, but you guys can see the uh, shifter in there. Um, anyway, right now I'm just uh, starting restoration work on it. I, of course, first thing is washing the car and uh, you gotta get that old hood pad off of there and uh, get a new hood pad put on. Let me show you how to take these hood pads off. It's really easy. So of course, the first thing I do is throw down a, a blanket or a, a sheet so I don't get it in the uh, engine compartment. And you choose a uh, paint scraper. And on these original cars, these hood pads are so old that they're just completely deteriorated and they're very easy to take off. And you don't need to go through and scrape every last little bit of uh, glue off of there. Um, the new hood pads, you can glue right over that stuff. And it'll stay on there for another 30 years. And uh, that's why we put the sheet down. Look at all that. Anyway, I'm gonna get a hood pad ordered and then we'll get that put on the car. We'll start going through the car and showing the restoration process. Uh, going through suspension, shocks, bushing, bushings, uh, checking the windows, sunroof, uh, shifter bushings, throttle linkage, valve adjustment, um, ball joints, axle boots, brake lines, rubber brake hoses, calipers rotors man you name it go through it from front to back make sure it's completely ready to go i just wanted to show this uh, i just did the initial wash on this car and uh, we use a degreaser industrial degreaser and put it on the engine and look at how this engine came out this is absolutely incredible all the gunk and grime was washed away this is probably the best cadmium plating i have ever seen on one of these cars. This is a 240D, 1982, with uh, 95,000 miles on it. I think it's 95,000, let's take a look. Yeah, 95,000 miles on it. And uh, I gotta do some stuff in here. Um, I mean, it, it's it's pretty immaculate. Uh, there's some things that bother me though, like the uh, the wood, you can see some little cracking in here. So I'm going to go ahead and refinish that. I've started taking the boot apart so I can take that out. But uh, of course it's the four speed. 
that is the original car and it's uh beautiful let's step back here and just take a look at this thing that's original paint you guys absolutely fantastic of course i got to take the valve cover off do a valve adjustment lubricate all the linkages put in new diesel return lines all that kind of stuff anyway this one uh this is gonna be a nice one you guys there's one thing I forgot to mention that is special about this car that I like. Um, not only is it the four speed, it actually has power windows. And you can see there's some wear on these buttons. I'm going to put in some uh, NOS uh, Mercedes buttons in here. But it has power windows, power window switches, uh, and it has the power sunroof. So that's kind of cool. It's like, And uh, I really like that. Like this car over here, if you're more of the apocalypse kind of person, uh, that is the 240D that's crank windows, no sunroof. You know, that's the the more stripped down model. But I like this. It's like kind of a fancy 240D. Um, so just wanted to point that out. But anyway, enjoy the restoration uh, videos and, and work that I'm going to do on this car. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted. I just fired this thing up because uh, after uh, cleaning the engine compartment, I want the engine to come up to temp and uh, uh, dry off a little bit. But uh, these 240Ds sound so cool. Way different sound than the, uh, than the SDs. Such a great car. Clutch feels great, shifts great. Shannon actually drove this back from uh, from North Carolina. That's where we found it. So let's get this back in the garage. I just got done doing a basic wash. I did a clay bar on the car. Uh, made sure all of the uh, made sure all of the drains uh, were clear. And just got it initially cleaned up and ready for the next stage. Let's see, where can I stand so you guys can see this car? There we go. All right, so the next stage is I'm going to get the, uh, you can see that's original paint and it looks pretty good. This is after washing, uh, iron remover, spray, uh, clay bar. So the next step is to get out the, uh, probably the rotary or the uh, uh, DA and we're going to buff and polish the car to bring back the full luster to the paint. And after we're done with that, then we're gonna get into the mechanics. But I like to start with making sure the paint and body are good. And this one is beautiful. I need to wipe off the rear window. I forgot to do that. That's water all up there. But uh, this is a beautiful 240D. It cleaned up very nice. So tomorrow we'll start the uh, buffing and polishing process. And look at that dash, immaculate. There's no wrinkles in the door card. That's pretty cool. Wind lace is all intact. Vinyl trim around the windows. I point this stuff out in all the videos. Rubber is in good condition. Because this is the very first thing I look at when I get a car. I check all the cosmetics um, because you can't get this anymore. And um, if you want to get new rubber, it's very expensive to get new rubber from Mercedes. So you want the rubber to be in good condition. And uh, you want the dashes to be in good condition. Wood trim, I can refinish. Seats, I can clean up. 
uh, well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the seat. Uh, carpets, I can vacuum. But there's a couple of key things you want to look for. And uh, always make sure those are good. Look at that original windshield. Always check for stuff like that. I just check for 100% originality. And then I start from there. So we're going to get this uh, buffed out and polished tomorrow. And then we will start on the mechanicals. And that's, uh, that's my favorite part because I'm a mechanic. So anyway, anyway, subscribe, hit the bell, and uh, I'll keep the videos coming, guys. Take care.